Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing um, one of the mod souls. Honestly, in my opinion, out of the three mod souls, this one is my favorite mod soul. I don't remember specifically what their abilities are per se, but I will say that I do like this guy the most, you know, like his his character design and everything just fits like what I like as like anime characters. I like anime characters to look sick. Um, so I would prefer that most characters have like a, you know, like a dope looking design. And I think that his fits the bill, um, out of the three of them anyways. So, you know, it is what it is. But, um, this episode, um, Oda, not Oda Hime, um, Uryu and Renji and Ichigo and Kone were trapped in like a maze type thing and they had to try and figure out a way out. I think I think it's weird, right? Like actually was it in this episode? No. What was in this episode was they tried to figure out who amongst them was the bad guy who was uh, traded. And honestly, watching the episode, the person that stuck out, stuck out like a sore thumb at the beginning was Chad. When he walked away and said that I'm going to go to class, uh, I knew immediately that it had to be Chad, really, because chad would not care about class if it meant that his friends could get hurt if he went right so the fact that he was just you know trying to proceed as if everything was normal odahime makes sense because you know tatsuki you know was like okay odahime let's go that's different than chad who doesn't actually have any other person that drives him like ichigo so, you know, Ichigo being there and wanting to come up with ideas, I think that it was kind of weird for Chad to be like, all right, I'm going to class. Like, you know, it's kind of weird, especially if you have a time limit. I wouldn't want to go to class knowing that there's a time limit of everybody disappearing. But um, yeah, let's get into this.
right, I am finished with this picture of my favorite mod soul. Um, I think that they're pretty much like almost done, if I would say so. But I don't. I don't, I don't I'm gonna keep it on it with you. Uh, this is a whole mod soul incident. And I don't know how I feel about it. To have Cone be said to be the only mod soul to then have three others show up after they come back from the soul society is kind of weird to me, right? Why wouldn't they have been wreaking havoc the entire time while Ichigo and them were gone, right? Um, why, why do these uh, mod souls have more power? I don't remember if the mod souls got revamped or whatever and they have more power now. I don't remember, but uh, it's kind of weird, right? And then this arc just came out of nowhere, right? Like, there's a lot of things that you could have done. You could have shown us what Aizen was doing this entire time. You could have, like, like, shift views from our side to their side, right? And then showed us, like, the journey of things, but you didn't. You just decided to give us mod souls again. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment sections to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love. Thanks for watching.